Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the freaking video, y'all. Today, I am going to be testing out this new brand called Flesh Beauty. Not really sure how long they've been around. The only reason I even knew about them genuinely was because of my managers. They were like, oh, this is like a new up and coming brand. It's like trendy. And I was just like, oh, okay, let's, let's test it out. I got sent a whole bunch of product here from them. So even though I did get sent the product, this is not in any means, any shape or form, a sponsored video. I don't have any relationship with the brand right now. This is very new. Everything is very new. So if I don't like something, I'm gonna say it. Just because something's sent to me doesn't mean that I'm going to give a positive review if I don't like it. Also, if you guys are new to my channel or like are new up in here, or even if you've been watching me for a really long time, I highly suggest you go and watch one of my Instagram story highlights on my Instagram, which I'll put right here. It's under the tab motivation. I talk about like positivity and just like my journey, my everything through positivity and negativity and just like everything like that, which will help you maybe better understand my style of videoing, everything in general, YouTubing, just my outlook on life. That'll probably help you better understand a lot of issues or a lot of like things that have been said about me in the past. So, oh, I think I have a freaking dog hair. Ugh, Mo's dog hair is delicious. So right now I'm in my, my new house and I'm in my filming room and it's very, very, very hot in my filming room. I'm going to turn on the air conditioner because I know last video a lot of you guys were like, just turn it on, don't worry about us, but bitch, this thing is loud. So I'm going to turn it on so you can hear. So, yeah, it's kind of loud, you guys. I don't feel comfortable filming with it on. We are working on a solution for everything so just stay put with me bear with me bear with me through my like dewy oily sweaty ass skin <laughs> so yeah let's just get into this i'm gonna turn my fan off even though it feels amazing <laughs> all right so i did get a little bit of an information card for you guys i'm gonna go through as much of the brand as i possibly can i really hope that I wind up liking this stuff because I have to go to an event later tonight and I don't have time to wipe off my face and redo it. So I'm really, really hoping that everything will come out good. So the pricing, I would say it's like Sephora brand pricing. I would say it's like on the lower end of the spectrum, like we got eight stuff for $18, $24. The eyeshadow palette is 38. So I would say that that's more on the higher end. We have stuff that's 18, 28, 28, 20, 26. So a bunch of different things. So let me check out where dropping shit left and right. Let me check out where they are sold, all different types of information, because on the card right now, it just says what each product is, the price. So I'm gonna go to their Instagram and see if they are sold in any, uh, you know. Oh, shop now at Ulta. So they're in Ulta and in fleshbeauty.com. So let's get it popping, let's get it popping. Let's go on with a primer right now. So they have a fresh, Flesh Illuminating Primer. So let's look for the primer. First of all, this is the packaging that it comes in. Sleek, you know, flesh, pink, to the point. You know what I mean? So it's cute. Ooh, fancy schmancy. So this is the bottle and then, so the primer, let me read you guys a little bit about the primer. It's a lightweight, light filled face primer serum with photo reflecting ingredients, pro vitamin B5 and glycerin. Ooh, it is kind of glycerin-y when I pop it out. That's exciting, cause I like glycerin-y primers. Ooh, wow, that feels really nice, okay. So far feels really nice. It does have a little bit of a scent to it. So if you are, you know, sensitive with your smells or whatever, if you don't like scented stuff, this probably won't be a good product for you. I don't, typically I don't mind it. I really don't care as long as it doesn't make my skin break out. And I feel like it's always nice to put something on your face that smells pleasant. Okay, so that's nice. That is a nice little primer situation we got going on. It feels very nice. As far as the illuminating aspect of it, I would say it definitely gives you like that glowy, 
dewy skin look. It doesn't have like a tint to it. I was worried that it would have a tint to it, but this is what it looks like. So there's no tint to it whatsoever. If you are looking at the bottle, you can see kind of the reflex in it. So that is cool. Let's move on to our eyes. I normally like to do my eyes first. I'm that type of girl. If you don't like to do your eyes first, whatever floats your boat, hunty. There are no rules with makeup. You make up your own rules. I literally have that tattooed on my thighs. So in life and in everything in general. So for my eyes, I'm actually going to use a Tarte product to prime her and everything. So I'm gonna uh, set this guy down. This is the creaseless concealer. So I'm setting this B down. I really have been liking this primer lately for my eyes. I tried it recently in a video for under eye foundation, for under eye concealer rather, and it was kind of thick. So you wanna make sure you're very, very gentle with it. I'm just gonna blend this out with my beauty blender. But I will say it didn't make me crease. So if you are looking for a new concealer that is creaseless, this is for you. I really liked it and it was very hydrating especially for my dry ass skin. Okay, so I set my eyes with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. What's new? What's tea? So I'm gonna go in with the Flesh Color Eyeshadow. And this product right here is $38 for nine shades. That's very bold for a brand that's like spanking new, but hopefully the price can hold up to the quality. Also, I can't remember if I told you guys the price of the primer. It is $32 for one fluid ounce. So that is kind of pricey, but you know, I can appreciate them wanting to be in that luxury price range. So let's test it out. Let's see if it holds up to it. This is again the packaging and it has like a little thumbprint on the back, which is cute. It says this tidy, tidy, T-I-D-Y. That's tidy, right? Not titty, titty. Titty is T-I-T-T-Y. Hello, I failed every spelling quiz in school. So this holds seven perfect neutrals, one flashy gold and a brave bright pink. And it also says that on the little sheet I have that it has matte and set matte in. has matte satin and metallic shades so let's open her up girl i ain't trying to mess up this mani i just got just throw the trash on the floor okay so when you open up the product this is how it looks like it's a little booklet kind of vibe it comes with a brush and these are the shades now when i look at this to be completely honest i am a little bit underwhelmed just because you know i mean i don't know i'm not trying to be rude I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I am a little bit underwhelmed, but hopefully these shadows will perform beautifully and I'll change my opinion. So I'm gonna do a little bit of swatching. Ooh, okay, that's pretty nice. On the back of my hand here. So we'll do this first shade. Okay, she's pigmented. This one. She's also pigmented. So bad at swatching on camera. That's pretty. I low-key want to do something with the pink, but I'm wearing a red dress tonight, so I don't know if it would go. Let's do the pinky. Okay, so it swatches pretty, pretty. I don't have anything to say poorly about the swatches other than, you know, like I'm, I'm really rooting for this brand to be completely honest and I, I just feel like they got some cute things already so I'm hoping that in the future they'll come out with, you know, more different colors. But I understand like a, a new brand wanting to come out with neutrals, like hello, neutrals are amazing, everybody uses them and I can appreciate the pop of pink in there, so. All right, let's go in. My beauty desk is a mess. If Mo was here, Mo would be judging the shit out of me. Okay, you guys know he's a judgy mofo. So I'm first gonna go in with this shade right here. Also, are the shade oh okay, the shade names are on the back. So this is the shade touch. Just gonna pop this in the crease as a transition shade and like blend her out. Blend her out up here as well. This is an interesting color. It's kind of like cool Tony. Can you guys see? I'm like literally dripping sweat. Ew, disgusting. Okay, so blend out nicely. I don't really have anything like awful or horrible to say about this. I do think for $38 that is kind of a stretch. Like I could understand if like 
they were formulated in like Mars or something like that. You know what I mean? But like, it's bold to say the least. So next I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which I believe is Mind. And I'm gonna go in and just crease her up even more. So the shades are blending very, very beautifully. It's just like the colors, you know what I mean? Like, I think it's the colors that are really throwing me off and it's like, I'm not super stoked on, you know? Cause like, I don't know, I low key want it to be like more range but this is their first palette so hopefully they will come out with more stuff i may have to turn the air on you guys when i do my foundation because i'm legit dripping came through dripping drip drip all right if i'm being honest right now it's taking me a minute to blend this out and i'm not like digging it you know what i mean i may even want to go into another eyeshadow palette to try and fix it since i do have to go on an event tonight but let's just move on i'm gonna do the lid all right so let's try to to fix the situation here. I'm gonna go in with this copper shade because I feel like it's really pretty. Actually, wait, this one below it is actually pretty too. I'm gonna go with the copper and let's pack it on the lid. Um, let me try to wet my brush. That's definitely better, but still not even like up to par. Okay, so first impressions of the eyeshadow palette, not digging it. It's definitely not my favorite. There are tons of other good eyeshadow palettes. I'm, I'm kind of like sad about this, honestly. So I, I hope that they can step it up in the future and, and do something different and more pigmented and just like, I don't know, better overall. Like, because this just really... I mean, look, it's not like cutting it at all, like in my opinion, at least. Like that's without wetting the brush. Like it should not look like that. And the eyeshadow is like patchy. I shouldn't have to like douse my brush to like get pigment. Oh my God, I can't wait to be done with this shadow. Let's just call her a day and let's just move on to the next step. So if I'm looking at their sheet, it doesn't look like they have a mascara or liner or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera for you guys and come back and do the rest of my face check out what else we're working with here. And yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I actually did go in with another palette and went over my eyes to try to save it because like I said, I do have an event I have to go to tonight. So yeah. Now let's talk about the foundation sticks because I know that that is slightly controversial right now because they are, you will see in a second. So each foundation, I do really like the packaging. It's like the shade of the actual foundation, but the size, y'all. The size of it all. So like you can see if you hold up two, there are two different shades and this one too. So we have like a bunch of different shades. I really, really am digging the packaging. I'm gonna go in with the shade 19 Coconut. I'm gonna refresh up on the primer a little bit under my eyes because I did have some fallout that I had to wipe away. So I'm just gonna refresh up on that. And then let's go in with this stick. So the stick. This is $18 with 40 shades and it's 0.2 ounces. So a multi-purpose foundation stick that glides on the skin smoothly to give a medium coverage and dewy finish. Listen, I'm all about a dewy finish and a smooth full coverage, but like this is so tiny. This is like the KKW Beauty 6. Like that is so tiny. I don't know. I feel like... This should be like $9 for like how tiny it is, but let's try it out. Let's see. That looks like a pretty good shade match. Okay in my nose and then i'm gonna go ahead and oh and you also have to make sure it's down all the way because i didn't and i just got a little dent in her i'm gonna take my beauty blender and let's start to blend her all out right off the bat this foundation does feel very very nice and lightweight on the skin we'll see you know how it does by the end of the toot blends out beautifully i feel like this is a really good match to my skin color too because i do self tan so we're not far off here. I am gonna drag it down my neck ever so slightly. Yeah, this is blending out very, very beautifully and I don't even feel like I need to go over it a second time. Normally with stick foundations, I do tend to feel like I have to go over it a couple times just cause like that's how stick foundations are. I love stick foundations though, don't get me wrong. They're like my babies. So I'm actually gonna try and find a darker shade to contour with and I'm gonna conceal as well. I'm gonna use the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. I'm gonna go under 
not nearly as much as I did the one time I tried to use this product, even though this still does look like equally as much. Your girl can't win. Wow, I really am liking this foundation. The coverage is beautiful, I feel like. It's very pretty. So unfortunately, the darkest shade they sent me was 22 Cookie, and it's way too similar to the actual foundation I have on, so you're not gonna really see it if I use it to contour. So I'm gonna go in with the Kylie Cosmetics Concealer. This is in the shade Almond, and I'm gonna contour with this puppy right now. And since it is hella hot in here, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this off camera so that my face doesn't melt. But you know, nothing new here. You guys know I always use a beauty blender to blend out any type of foundation, concealer, whatever. If you are interested in watching me blend all of this out, please go check out my updated foundation routine. That'll definitely help you guys. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, not to be dramatic, but I feel like this is honestly like one of the prettiest times uh, my skin has ever looked wait I'm all messed up here I feel like my skin looks so good and this is like the prettiest it's ever looked like I love this foundation so far I think it's so so beautiful so let's continue on with our situation so I'm gonna jump right into the cream highlighters which look like this right here on the card Ooh, I feel like this color could be so oh my god it's so pretty that's really 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 pretty pretty. So I'm going to apply this with a brush because I feel like that's just the way I normally like to apply my cream highlighters. Brush, where are you? So this is my Morphe E8 brush and I'm going in with the shade Twitch. These are $18 a piece, 0.1 ounce and four shades. So again, it's like the same size as the foundation. So, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that they'll make bigger versions. Genuinely am. So let's apply some on the nose and I'm gonna use this to kind of pop on our highlighter as well but you could totally wear it alone as is it's very very pretty and very booming so if you are a woman with more mature skin this could be a really good option for you because I mean look at it's really pretty and that's like a cream highlighter and it's not gonna be like powdery and crusty on your face I'm shook this is really pretty that heat <laughs> it's getting to me girl it's getting to me and I do have another shade right here, which is a lighter one. This one's called Pinky, obviously more pinky toned. And that's what that one looks like. So yeah, these are really pigmented, very, very pretty. I would say so far, that's like one of my favorite products besides the foundation. So now let's look onto the highlighting powder. And I only was sent one of the powders. This is 300 Boost is the shade. So hopefully this is a shade that is good for me. Do you guys ever get itches and you're like, <laughs> flesh to flesh highlighting. Ooh, girl. I don't know, man. I don't know if that's gonna be a good shade. That's very, very light. Very light. Let me just do like a swatch. I honestly, like this is gonna ruin the makeup look. I could do like a little bit dust over top, but that's a swatch of it. It's very, very pretty. This is $28. It has six shades and 0.3 ounces. So what I'm gonna do is actually apply my normal highlighter and then kind of use this as a topper so the highlighter that I've been really loving and obsessed with I mean there's no new news here the master chrome metallic from Maybelline and this is a Morphe fan brush and I'm just going to apply right on top dang I'm liking that I'm also gonna add little TLC to the tip of my nose so let's go on in with the highlighter and I'm gonna use the other side of my brush and just kind of add it as a topper. Wow, Metro Bowman. Woo, girl, we are reflecting bitches today. Okay, so for a little bit of blush we got going on, these are the two shades that I was sent. We have Pinch here and Rub right here. The shade Rub looks very, very pretty. These are $26, eight shades, and 0.1 ounce. So let's apply some of this blush. I normally like to apply blush after my highlighter and bronzer are on. I know some people don't like that, but whatever, it's makeup. There's no rules. So I'm just gonna pop, ooh. She's pigmented, oh shit, okay. My skin really eats up pigment, so hopefully that'll just go right away. Ha <laughs> ha! That was very pigmented, but very pretty blush. Matte, like it, don't have any problems with it. 
Only thing is, it's very pigmented. Don't make the same mistake that I did. So moving on to lipstick, I received one of these, which I believe, this is in the shade Jiggly. $24.1 ounces and is a lip color stain. So I'm just gonna pop it on. That is a pretty color, but honestly, I'm not like doing my makeup like this kind of girl. You know what I'm saying? I like either a lipstick, a pencil, whatever it may be, but I do really like this color. The color is really pretty, but eh, you know what I'm saying? Plus it's, I mean, it's a lot of money for like what it is, you know? If it was like half the price, I'd be like, yeah, I can see it. And then I also got some like randomy lipsticks. I didn't get like obviously the entire collection, but let's look at the ones that we did get. So for the lips, it comes in four shades. Oh, actually I did get them all, I think. Yeah, four shades. $18.1 ounce. So I'm gonna do swatches on the back of my hand. And this right here is called Prime, which this is an actual really pretty color. It's kind of like a rust mixed with a nude. Oh, and it's a magnetic. The packaging is like magnetic-y. I also have the shade Prize, which is more of like a red red tone that's pretty that's a pretty red and these are satin finishes you guys there's no nothing on it that really says like if it's a matte or whatever but all it says it's a comforting lipstick so it is a satin finish oh okay wait this is different this one has a different packaging. I have no idea, but this is another one. I like the shape of the lipstick. This one is called Hungry. So I'm gonna swatch it right next to this guy. This is more sheer, I feel like, or like just very similar to my skin tone. This last one is called Lick, and I automatically think of Cardi B. So yeah, these are definitely more like, not as like pigmented. I feel, I mean, that's a poor way to put it, but they're more sheer, they're more sheer. There we go. So let's kind of, Pick a lipstick that will go with this looksies and let's apply her. All right, you guys. So this is the finished look right here. Overall, I do have to say that there are some winners from the collection and definitely some misses for me. I'm gonna start with the misses first and definitely have to throw on this eyeshadow palette. I mean, I'm just like, I sh struggled with it, honestly. And I feel like if you're a new brand and you're gonna come out with an eyeshadow palette, you have to bring it. So I'm really, really hoping that they'll improve and like take other YouTuber suggestions. Well, I'm just assuming that everybody else who reviewed it thought the same thing. I don't know. I haven't watched any other reviews, but I'm just praying and hoping that they'll take this as constructive criticism and not as an attack or anything because I do really like the brand and I think it has a lot of potential. I just really didn't see like this being a hit for me and also the lipsticks that were like this honestly like if it was a cheek situation where you could use this as a cheek then I would be like oh yeah that's kind of cool because I'm all about cream and cheek blushes like that so yeah I would have to say that those are the misses and the lipsticks are they're on the fence for me listen they're very very pigmented pretty lipsticks. In all honesty, I find myself reaching for a matte lipstick more than anything, to be completely honest. And that is why I went with a matte lipstick for the end of this look. For the foundation, for the cream highlighter, for the actual highlighter itself, I was blown away. I thought they were absolutely beautiful, especially this foundation. This could be my new go-to, along with the Derma Blend. I really like this guy too. So I'm very excited about the skin portion of this whole thing, because I do feel like it is is really good. Also the primer, I really did like the primer. Again, the only negative thing I do have to say is just the sizing of everything. You know, hopefully they'll make bigger versions or drop the price or do something. And I honestly feel like this brand has a lot of potential. I'm excited for them to see what they come out with in the future. I hope they don't like take this video too offensively. You know, I'm trying to be as constructive and as positive as I can be. But you know, there are products that just weren't up to par for me like I did not like this this is a mess to say the least so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video leave me a comment down below what you guys think of flesh and what you're thinking for their future what you would like to see from them I know I would like to see better palettes and better like packaging for the palettes because this is like very bulky and like hard to travel with if I'm being like very realistic in my opinion there's no need for a palette to be this bulky it kind of reminds me of like the Deca Scarlet palettes which I do not like whatsoever Whatsoever. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.